Okay, we've got the scores on a standardized test for 314 students, that's your N, in a non-traditional math class, compared to the scores of 262 students in a traditional math class. Computer software was used to create a confidence interval for the difference in the means. All right, so we had a 98% confidence interval, and this is your interval. What is the margin of error? Well, remember your margin of error is just um, the length of the interval divided by 2. So if I just come in here, hopefully the cell will let me work in it. Let me see. Or I, I can just go into it. I'll just come into a blank. Uh, sorry. Let me just grab a blank Excel worksheet. And I will come in here and just get the length of the confidence interval. So that's going to be equals to uh, 3.534 minus negative 2.334. I'm going to divide that by, oops, let's divide it by 2. Okay, so 2.934. And then it says if we had created a 95% confidence interval, would the margin of error be larger or smaller? Well, um, the margin of error would actually be smaller because you need less confidence. You're, you're not, your net's not going to be as wide. Um, now it says, does this result suggest that students who learn mathematics with non-traditional methods will have significantly higher mean scores on standardized tests than those in traditional classes? Now what you need to notice when you're looking at the difference, if zero is in your interval, if you go from negatives to positives, then you cannot conclude that there is any difference in the two things that you're comparing. Um, so it will be no because the interval contains zero, there is insufficient evidence. Okay, and so that should help you work that one.